Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, October 14th of 2019. It's 2.20 a.m. I think this is a Monday. Yes, it's Monday. Start of a new week. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to talk about. I think it's just going to be some odds and ends. Um, one thing, a friend of mine uh, contacted me that he has a, well, he has a number of computers. He has a Chrome book, and uh, he's had it five or six years, something like that. He got a notice that it's not going to be updated <clears throat> because it's out of the five-year thing or whatever, so they don't update it. That was something new to me. I've had a Chromebook. I gave it away. I really didn't like it although I think it's a good product. And I have a Chrome box, which I haven't been using for a while, that's probably five years or that's over on the shelf. Uh, I didn't know that they stopped upgrading or whatever. So, so I was going to do a YouTube video on that. I thought, hey, do people know? But then I, <laughs> I did some searching. I was putting together some uh, sites, and then I saw, well, back in 2005, 2006, uh, people were talking about that fact that they have a policy of five years and no more support, and uh, so it's not something new, new to me, though. Uh, so they talked about, you know, you can still use it, and it's probably going to work just fine because, you know, Chromebooks do check your email, you know, go to websites, uh, that type of, you know, it'll probably do that. Uh, I was thinking of, and still I am thinking of getting maybe another Chrome box because I want uh, the old one, the one I had, was, it did not support uh, Android apps, and now they are working and uh, you can pull in Android apps and that type of stuff. So, and you can have the Google apps, and then you can have now Android apps. So I was thinking of getting, but uh, a lot is happening with Windows. By the way, I upgraded. I went back and I clicked on the um, uh, let's see. What do they call it? Windows update. Yeah, I went from the slow ring to the fast ring, and that got me so. Um, so it upgraded last night, and I'm using, let's see, someplace I. Windows update. Someplace it told me what I was using. Let me go over here because I'm using Manicam and they have this thing that pops up. I'm a lifetime user, whatever. They have this thing that pops up because it doesn't know that I'm a lifetime user. Uh, anyway, OS build. Here it is over here. Okay. Uh, my computer is a uh, i5, and I have 16 gigabytes of memory in it, and it's the 16-4-bit uh, operating system, and I'm using Windows 10 Pro, and I just installed uh, version 1903, and next month they're releasing, what is it, 1903 or... 1904 or something. I think I basically have got the new the new version that is uh, coming out. And like I mentioned before, you know, Windows apparently is working on a light version or a not even sure what you call it. And I'm I'm looking forward to that whenever and I think it's going to be released soon. Um, sort of like uh, like Chrome. I mean, I, th I think it. I think it's going to be. It's going to run everything Windows. 
but it's going to be simple and smaller and the code is going to be newer i think and simpler and whatever so looking forward to that as you see this time i do have the video on the right on the correct side of the screen last time i made a video it was like that but now you know i've got it because i have the choice if you use manicam or any of these other uh programs to you know embed your video and you know have it up which corner you want it or, or how big you want it stuff like that so and the reason I have the over here, it looks like I'm looking at the site, which I am. Um, so let's see, Chrome. Um, what's the other? The other news. Um, there was something. Oh, something I wanted to mention to you. Maybe there's an expert out there. As you know, I have two monitors now set up. <laughs> it changes from day to day. I, I, With my arthritis and as old as I am and as tired as I am, you'd think I'd stop moving monitors around. So this is my uh, LG 4K monitor, but it's in 1080 mode. And then I have a uh, Asus 1080 monitor over here which I can have I can be working here and I can have something over here and that's what I'm doing like right now is over here I have the control for Manicam and so I can see my video and do things uh, but uh, now I've lost my train of thought Oh, that's what, I, yeah, I went away. Okay, so the monitor, my 4K monitor is not in 4K mode. It's in 1080 mode. But when I go to YouTube, I don't know if I can find a 4K. Well, okay, if, if I go to, oh, see, I was already, okay, let's go to YouTube. Okay, um. Let me put, I'll put 4K up here. 4K video. Okay, and 60P. Okay. Um, so I'm in 1080p on my monitor. I have it set that way. But if I go to a 4K, you see here it says 4K. And I'm going to, uh, let me show you that. Oh, wait a minute. No, okay, so it shows 4K. 2160 at 60p. One way I... So... Okay, now, that says 480K. I mean, uh, 4K. And it looks to be in 4K. And one way I can tell it's in 4K is because it's so slow. Uh, so I, so I am actually getting 4K, but I have the computer set for, you know, man, this is really bad. Now I watch a lot of, uh, not a lot. I, uh, a regular, I mean, they want this to be, and really the people that made this want this to be. But I mean, I watch regular, uh, more regular things. And, uh, okay, maybe this, well, this isn't one of the regular, but, um, see, it shows 480 or 4K, 2160 again. And maybe it'll run at regular. But I watch a regular, uh,
think I'm in love. Okay. Try to get over here and stop this before uh, we have a uh, copyright thing because of the music or something. So I am correct, right, that even though I have my monitor set that I want 1080p, so both screens, you know, I can grab, drag stuff back and forth and whatever it is a reason. Um, when I pick a Netflix or who uh, something and it's in 4K, I see it in 4K. That's good. Um, I guess so. Enlighten me if you know the answer to the question. I don't even know what the question is, but anyway. Um, the other thing, I'm going to mention politics a little bit. So if you want to, I am a liberal Democrat. I did not think that Donald Trump would be elected, but I'm, I'm not somebody I, you know, I knew that it was close in the, uh, I guess let's go back here. I knew that it was close, but I, what I thought I thought that the fundamentalist uh, Christians or whatever would uh, stay at home. I, I, I just thought that that would make the difference. I didn't think that they would actually get out to vote for him. So I, I was surprised that he did win. And uh, I, I think, and I think people agree that he didn't think that he was going to win. They even say, I think he admitted, or anyway, they say that he had a concession speech written. But he, he had to, when he won, he had to go have somebody, you know, make one the way. So I don't think he thought he was going to win. I don't think he really wanted to win. But then I think after he won, I think he thought, wow, I won. I can, you know, I'm going to be in the history books. I'm going to... I have a presidential library. I can charge people to get into it. I can uh, sell things in the presidential. I mean, you know, everything is with him, I think, is money and himself. So I think then he's thinking about all of these things. But he doesn't, he didn't know about politics. He doesn't know, and he's not smart. And he has a lot of the bad, bad uh, characteristics about him. So, and of course, I mentioned this the other day. I, I predicted that his administration would be the most corrupt it already is and that he would have the most, the people around him going to jail. And that's already happened also. So the Grant administration is off the hook and uh, <clears throat> the next administration is, you know, no longer number one. Uh, then my prediction was that uh, he would, at some point, you know, uh, resign from the presidency. Uh, and I think now that's going to happen. The question I ask you is, do you think that, that he is going to resign from the presidency? If so, when do you think it's going to happen? I thought it was going to happen much Sooner, I think we're into year three. I'm surprised he's made it this long. I think the problem. I think I think he would like to resign, but I think there's, you know, with with Nixon when it came to the impeachment hearings or whatever, the Republicans were backing him, and then when it became obvious that, you know. He had committed high crimes and and or misdemeanors or whatever. What is it? Mis anyway, you know, Republican senators went to him and said, 
Mr. President, you are, you know, you are going to be impeached and, and removed from office. And then Nixon resigned. Uh, the problem with Trump resigning is back with the Nixon, I think, you know, those, well, I think the, Re the Republican senators who went to him, you know, they went to him and there was mutual respect uh, for each other and confidentiality and, you know, whatever. The problem now with Trump is, and he's committed so many crimes, uh, that he's, Trump's going to want to, you know, see Nixon was, you know, pardoned by President Ford, which I think was a correct thing for good for the, for the good of the country. Uh, Trump has committed so many crimes that I don't know what, you know, I don't want to see us locking up presidents or, well, let's just keep it at presidents. I don't want to see us locking up every time there's an election that uh, I don't want to see us trying to impeach the person. I don't want to see us, you know, uh, locking them up, locking them up, locking them up. So, um, and the problem, nobody really likes Trump. I mean, not even the Republicans, you know, in Congress, not even the Republicans in the Senate. And no, everybody knows that he has major problems and nobody really likes him. Uh, but the Republicans in Congress want to be reelected and they also don't want to see a Republican president impeached or a Republican president removed, be the first president to be removed by the impeachment procedure. They don't want to see that happen. But the problem, as I see, is, you know, everybody, he's appointed all the wrong people. He's appointed the worst people. And all the people around him, he treats terrible. And he doesn't listen to the people around him. And so I don't think they like him, you know. They may like the position they have or, you know, the prestige of being, you know, being in the White House or something. But they're not going to, they're going to, like they've been doing, they're going to be talking, telling secrets, uh, letting information, you know, if, what Trump needs to do is have good people around him, smart people, you know, but he doesn't appoint those kind of people. He only appoints people that say great things about him and, you know, flatter him and, you know, and he need, what he needs is people around him, but he doesn't have those. So I see that is the problem. I mean, if he had good people around him, and if he was like Ronald Reagan, and Ronald Reagan should have actually been, you know, removed from office. He committed major crimes, but uh, the people around him liked him. The Republicans around him liked him, and even non-Republicans liked him. And the people around him, they went to prison, <laughs> but they, you know, they took the heat, and uh, they didn't rat him out. And Trump doesn't have anybody that's, you know. So that's going to be the problem, because if he, right now, if he would just think, hey, this is not worth it, you know. Of course, he's not going to say, he can't say to himself, I made a lot of mistakes. Oh, I've committed crimes. I've messed up. This is all a big old mess. I'm not competent. He's not going to say those kind of things. He's going to be, you know, I'm the greatest. I picked the best people and all that kind of stuff. But we know that's a bunch of crap. But if he had good people around him, and if he had people who he didn't treat like crap, then what he could do is call together some people and say, okay, I want to look into the possibility of, you know, possibly, you know, resigning from the presidency or 
when it comes up for election that I will not be a candidate, uh, you know, for the Republican presidency, whatever he, you know, he's, and so can I make a deal? And here's what I want. I don't want to go to prison and I don't want my children or my, you know, I don't, I don't want any of these people around me going to prison. Uh, so what can we do, you know, to facilitate this, um, uh, happening? And, you know, then, you know, a deal could be, I think a deal could be made that the Democrats would just be, okay, uh, let's get this out because it's dangerous and it's scary and he's not competent and we need, to, the government needs to work and he's doing everything wrong. And so, okay. Uh, but, I mean, you'd have to get the, uh, prosecutors in New York State, because I'm sure they have major cases, multiple felonies, I'm sure, against him and maybe his family and other people. And so I'm not sure if he can, if he can do this because, I mean, it has to be done. It, it has to be done quietly and in a, you know, not, he can't go tweet about it, you know, I mean, you know, he can't go and tweet. Uh, people are telling me I should resign, but I'm not going to resign and blah, blah. I mean, it, it has to be done, and I don't see how he can, because of the chaos that he has committed, or, you know, or, and created around him, I don't see how he can work the deal out. Maybe, I don't think that would work. Like if he calls in a legal firm, I mean a prestigious legal, but why would a prestigious legal firm really want to have anything to do with him, even though... He's president of the United States. I would, I would want, I would want anything to to do with him. Uh, and you see the kind of people he picks. Uh, but if he could call in, oh, so let's say he can call in a professional law firm. They come in, but the only problem is they have to contact the New York prosecuting, you know, prosecutor's office and say. Okay, if the president resigns, would you drop all charges, you know, against him and against the following people? Then they have to go, you know. Now, of course, the... Uh, and then somebody's going to leak it because of Trump and the people around him. Somebody's going to leak all this, and then he's going to... You know, then he's going to tweet, and you know, there's stories going around from the deep state that I'm going to resign. I'm never going to resign. I'm going to run for a third term. And I mean, he's just, uh, uh, now one thing I'm sure he's going to be thinking is, well, I will just pardon myself and everybody else that's involved in this. Number one, I don't think that he, you know, I think there's uh, law professors and uh, people who, you know, reading the Constitution or whatever, I think they're, they're like, well, we don't know. Maybe the president, no, no. Our founding fathers never intended that the president of the United States could pardon himself or his family for, you know, crimes and i if it goes to even though there's like five republicans on the supreme court even if, if it goes to the supreme court i don't think the supreme court is going to say that the, a president can but also what trump doesn't understand is uh that he can only pardon for federal crimes he can't do anything about the state charges and there's at least new york and is it new jersey or is it I forget, there's at least two states, at least, that probably, I'm guessing, have 15 or so felony charges against him and probably some of his family members for various things. 
So I don't think now maybe the deal could be okay, you know. The state agrees no charges against him if he resigns. Uh, and then, it, which it's terrible, but then let him pardon all of these people, which I just, um, you know, because of the bad thing that it sets when you do something like that, then the next president is going to be, well, uh, you know, President Trump pardoned all these people, so... I will, when I get ready to leave office, I'll just pardon all the people in my, you know, administration who did uh, things. It could become like a regular thing. Okay, well, the, you know, President so and so is uh, leaving office now, you know, and a new president is coming on. So I wonder who all he's going, all of who are the people that he's going to pardon of his people. I mean, it just, it would just be a bad situation. Um, but, I mean, Trump is so dangerous and has done so many bad things that it would be, you know, good to get him out and, but that would be bad if we got him out under these terms and then every president that came in, the people around him could just, uh, pay no attention to laws or whatever. Um, if a deal were made, I think that, that the deal made should be that he can never hold federal office. I would also, which he, this would really, I mean, he wouldn't want to go for this. I would like to see a deal made also that uh, he can't have a presidential library. But, I mean, he could always, in his Trump, I mean, he, you know. But, I mean, I hate to, see the, I hate to see the government giving money for a presidential library. You know, presidential libraries are where documents go. People, you know, scholars, professors, people who want to write books. They go there and they have access to the. So, but I just hate to hate to think that he has because too you know, that he's gonna be, you know, there'll probably be. If you want to use one of the toilets there, you'll have, probably have to uh, put money in the thing to get into a toilet, and he's going to charge you for admission to get in, and there's going to be things, you know, promoting his golf courses and his uh, hotels and I mean because he's I would but on the other hand yeah, so it's it's going to be a problem but I and the problem with like him if he says okay here's the deal I won't run for re-election the problem is he's already his people are already doing things to make sure that he's the only candidate by, you know, uh, not holding the election con or the state conventions and doing various things. And then, too, at the last moment, you know, if the, if the deal were made, that also means we'd be stuck with him for like a year and a half. And then what's he going to do? You know, who's going to be the candidate? Since he's the head of the party, he could work very hard to, I think he'd be, you know, really undercut, but he could work very hard to pick the next Republican president. And, by the way, he wouldn't pick uh, Pence, you know, Mike Pence. Nobody would pick Mike Pence to be, you know. But, of course, if Trump does resign... And we have, you know, you know, you have Obama, President of the United States, Trump, President of the United States, and then you have Pence, even if it's only for 
a year and a half or a year or six months or a, a month, you know, Pence would be, his picture would be up there and he'd be in the history books and he'd have a presidential library. So, um, anyway, uh, fake video of Trump shooting media and critics played at his resort. This is something, you know, new. I don't even know what, you know. <laughs> a disturbing video of a fake President Donald Trump shooting, assaulting, and stabbing his critics and the media has played at a conference held by a pro-Trump group at his Miami resort last week, according to footage obtained by the New York Times. The video, which was shown at the Trump Durrell Miami during a three-day conference held by America, American Priority, inc includes the logo for Trump's 2020 re-election bid and showcases a series of internet memes, the Times reported. One part of the video, the Times said, shows a fake Trump head edited onto the body of a man opening fire in the church of fake news on a group whose faces were edited to appear as a group of Trump critics and news organizations. According to the Times, the clip ends with Trump driving a stake into the head of a person who has the CNN logo for a face before standing and smiling as he looks around. The clip appears to be edited from a church massacre scene in the 2014 movie Kingsman, The Secret Service, The Times reported. Oh, oh my God. Oh. So, woman arrested and fined for wearing a tiny bikini. Okay, now is this in Saudi Arabia or is this, uh, Philippines? Woman arrested and fined in the Philippines Island for wearing a tiny bikini. A tiny we tiny we a tourist from Taiwan was arrested and fined for wearing a particularly revealing bikini on the beach at the Philippines newly opened resort. Okay, we want to see the local media reported. Are we gonna see a picture here? Come on. Let's see the tiny bikini. Uh, Republic of the Philippines, Philippine News Agency. Okay, I don't think we're going to get to see it. Not a bad little sight. I mean, you know, the. Uh, I'm talking about the web page here. I'm kind of surprised that uh, I would suspect that from, you know, as an Islamic country or something like that. Um, let's go over here. I don't know if I should show you around. I don't know what I could show you with the, the new version of Windows that would be, well, let's see here. So I'm not going to, but still trying to get to 3,000 subscribers. I don't think I'm ever going to make it. Top videos. The drone video and the 34-inch ultra-wide monitor video. I gave that to my son. 
my ground is on. Uh, maybe I should have kept it. And you know what I'm thinking? I don't know. I've got that other monitor. I don't know. This is working okay. Why do I always mess with... Uh, why can't I leave things alone and I always have to mess with things? Let's see how many uh, views we're getting for various things. Uh, uh, the Social Security Increase video um, got four comments. One person left a comment saying... Uh, that he came to, uh, because of the Social Security thing, he didn't ke come to hear my political uh, stuff. Uh, and I didn't answer him back or whatever, but I mean, the Social Security, that's the title, you know. The so it, That tells you right, the t title tells you right there, 1.6%, but then I went into raving about politics, and I don't, call this video raving but if you're a you know Republican yes probably so but I but in that one I was raving and foaming at the mouth or whatever so of course I turned off the ability to make money with it because the advertisers aren't going to want to uh, and uh, I'll turn it off also on this one because of the political talk because uh, chick-fil-a will probably not want to advertise and other people probably would not want to advertise. Even if they agreed with my, uh, which Chick-fil-A would not, but even if, if they agree, they wouldn't want to advertise because you don't want to turn off half of your, you know, upset half of the your customers. So anyway, let's see here. Uh... I still don't have a appropriate state ID. My grandson, uh, he has a state ID, grown grandson. He has a state, but it needs to be renewed. So then he will get a state ID with uh, the proper, uh, but I, I really don't have one now if I, in a year from now, if I have to uh, travel, I'm going to have to. I've got four prescriptions to be picked up tomorrow. I don't think I have any doctor's appointments until December 19th, and that's for, no, that's for the pacemaker, but that's where I send the uh, information myself over the cell device that I have. I think I pay five or six dollars a month for that. I think it was supposed to be for X number of years, and then it was supposed to be like, I believe, no charge after that. So, uh, Been watching a lot of cat videos. In 2023, California will ban the sale and manufacture of fur products. German gunman captured after shooting two people at, oh no, not a German, <laughs> a gunman shot two people at a New Hampshire church wedding. Sort, sort of strange story, I didn't even understand it or whatever. A month ago there was a shooting at the same church and I tried to read the CNN story but I couldn't figure out. The guy who did this shooting I think was related to the other person that was shot or to the person, I don't know, you know. Uh, worried about Hong Kong. I don't think it helps their cause by 
uh, calling on the United States to help them or erecting a uh, Lady of Liberty or whatever. I hope everything goes okay. I'm a fan of uh, Twit Tech TV thing or whatever. The um, power company out there turned, I didn't know until I watched Windows Weekly and I have finished watching it. Um, they were in that area that had their power cut for a couple of days. So they couldn't do their live streaming and that type of stuff. I don't know what this yesterday movie is. I just love Old oh Brother, Where Art Thou? That is a great, great movie. Tombstone was a good movie. And League of Their Own was a good movie also. I didn't care. If I watched it. It was okay. I didn't like Stand and Deliver that much. Uh, I, on my site or whatever, I, I posted this video here and... Uh, I also, uh, I think this is a great movie, or no, I mean a great YouTube video. This little girl looks like maybe she's nine, and she has a brother who has uh, autism or whatever, or uh, Down syndrome, and she's sitting there playing the guitar, and, well, let's just look at a little tiny bit of it. Uh, there you go. You know, he has very limited capabilities, but he he sings along with her a little bit and some of the words he puts in there. And then later in this video, I'll put the link below to this, by the way. Her other little brother comes and there's a brother that comes and sits over there. And uh, just a sweet, uh, sweet video. Now, I'll save that link. So I can put it below, underneath. Also, I'll, uh, okay, I want to open this in a new tab. I mentioned this other one before. And I'll put the link to this one. This is so sweet, and she sings so beautiful. And uh, she has gone on. This was done in 6, 2016. There are later videos of her, uh, I think, doing some other music and what have you. But this looks like a fantastic school for these children that, I'm not sure if one classification covers them all or or what, but this is, I'll put the link below to this. I've listened to it a bunch of times, and two, it's kind of, it's, this is a five minute video, and if you watch the entire thing and then watch it again, you'll see some of the kids disappear like I think okay stop take this kid off and then you'll see another kid go or you see one of them there's a kind of a heavy set uh, kid uh, that ch changes position or whatever I don't even see him now maybe this is him back here oops I'm not sure if this is him but if you watch it and then if, over here on the side, okay, you can see uh, an adult there. I think there's somebody over there that's, they probably put some of the kids that are troublesome, you know, like. But, I mean, this appears to be a fantastic school. I watched a, another, I think another video that shows you the school and talks about it and 
I wish that, and they have, I think, a few other locations, but I really can't afford to uh, um, donate. But if you can, look up this school or whatever and maybe donate some money. Or if you have a child, of course, you'd, you wouldn't want to, I mean, you want it a place that's, you know, local to you. But if you have a child that has some problems that would possibly be uh, helped by this kind of a school, it looks like a fantastic place. So I'll put the link below to this. And on that, by the way, I love this song, Hallelujah. Uh, and it's in, there's a movie I liked, uh, St. Ralph, and that's, that song plays a big part in, uh, in that. So, so number one, I like the, I like the, the music, the song, and what, I'm not a big mu music fan because of my hearing problem, but, uh, anyway, thank you very, I, I, I was going to do a switch around of move the Kim, but I, not going to do that now, and I'm trying to decide if I want to take, I think it's a mistake, I think I should leave things exactly the way they are, but I'm still thinking about just having one, my one monitor, the wide monitor, not the 34 inch one that I gave it, but the other one, here and the only problem if I do that then I know what I'm going to do I'm going to put my small LG H or LD uh, LG Roku TV there and I'm not good at I wish you know I'm, I, I'm not good at doing two things at the same time I'm not good at working on my computer, even email or anything. I'm a simple person. I really cannot, you know, be watching television and doing something. If I'm going to be reading emails or answering, then I have to shut something. So I don't know what I'm going to do. By the way, I think, did I tell you? I think, maybe let me, re remember I told you, I think that I ordered four, things for my bed to raise it up three inches so I could slide some stuff underneath it and also I think it would kind of help me when I get up in the morning because it hurts like heck getting up and uh, then I canceled it because then I realized I have six legs on the bed but then I found I think I told you that in the video yesterday then I found a site that they sell six of those so I may go ahead and order that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.